A few videos back, I had an interesting exchange on the subject of um, what an antinatalist law might look like. What would what form would antinatalist legislation take place? And it came to light that um, at least one person believed that um, the law, uh, through the normal democratic processes of uh, legislation, um, uh, possible challenge by the courts, constitutionality, etc., um, would enact legislation to restrict or uh, sanction or perhaps prohibit reproduction. The thinking went that, well, we've already done this to things like rape and murder and assault, etc. So we're simply adding one more um, category, or one more crime, I, I suppose, to those to that list of harms. And we're simply um, outlawing them. We would be outlawing them for the same reason that we're outlawing all the other ones. It shouldn't be that difficult of a, of a thing to wrap one's head around. In terms of the ivory tower, no. And if you accept certain assumptions, I agree. Um, but in terms of reality, what we would have to do if we did that, um, human civilization simply wouldn't be around to evolve concepts like uh, legality, uh, like the law, like um, constitutions and, and human rights codes, etc., if we'd ever at any point outlawed um, reproduction. So we would probably have to go at the very basis of what we assumed the law was for, because this idea is a revolutionary idea. Um, the only countries that I can think of that have ever actually implemented um, uh, sanctioned, in other words, penalized uh, programs to prevent people from having kids or to, to actively control people's reproductive rights have been totalitarian or at the very least authoritarian. It's difficult to actually have a democratic society that will go to that extent, to go to that extreme, to enforce a completely radically revolutionary idea that is assumed to be in today's world a, a basic human right, the right to reproduce. We would have to sort of redo our entire view of the law. Um, again, because this has never been attempted uh, to that extent in a modern society. <clears throat> now, the thinking that uh, goes that the law is there to prevent harm. That's why we have laws against murder and rape and violence and assault and, and home invasion and all that sort of thing. The law is not there to prevent harm, and it never has been. I'm prepared to argue that very point, even if it takes a few dozen more videos. That's a gigantic fallacy that apparently even the good Mr. Benatar falls into. A fallacy is a fallacy, and I don't care if you've got a doctor before your name. Uh, you're still committing a fallacy. Thank you.